can't you call me? Tina. Well, what's Jordy got? Angie said she was nervous. She makes me nervous. <laughs> well, anyone that likes our daughter is gonna make us nervous. Mm. Do you think they've had sex? No. They haven't even kissed yet. Well, that's one thing done right, I guess. You were doing a lot right. Do you want to tell me what happened last night? We were, um, we were all leaving the play. And then Angie stepped in between us, almost like to protect me. He pushed her down to the ground. He put his hands on our daughter and he fucking pushed her to the ground. So I, I, I pushed him and I thought, for a second, I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. That's new. I like it. Oh. Thanks. I got it a couple months ago at Faye Klein. I miss that place. <laughs> oh my God, she is so much like you. Me too. I mean, me, I hope I haven't just screwed her up. You're a good mom. So are you. I'm just glad that you were able to create so much space for her. Of course. That doesn't come natural to you. What are you saying? You could never do that for me. But I definitely put your career first. Your feelings first. I never asked you to do that. Because you're never wrong. Look around. I'm wrong all the fucking time. Are you still seeing that woman? I broke up with her yesterday. Before any of this even happened. You know, Felicity was there for me when Kit died. I wish I could have been there. You could have at least come to the funeral. I would have made it harder for you. We had just gotten divorced. I had just left. It would have been very confusing if I had shown up. Such a bullshit excuse. You should have been there. I thought you were my family. That was a great speech. <laughs> Thank you. You're gonna make a great mayor. We'll see. If you need anything, I'm here. I am your family. You know? I know. I love you. I love you. Come here. Please don't go. Please. Dana would have loved this place. Hearing Angie's first little heartbeat. Oh my God, me too. Yeah. Oh, we were sobbing. Just falling. Oh, and what is it that you said that sounded like? Like horses stampeding in the mud. <laughs>
We should celebrate. We should really, we should totally celebrate. I think I might have some champagne. I'm so happy for you. Where's Gary? She's coming. Okay, she's just parking. <laughs> All right, terrific. Till then, bye-bye. I'm so sorry about that. Please, don't apologize. <laughs> oh. Beth. Hi, honey. Hi. I'm so sorry. I nicked your mailbox. Whoever is on the phone sounded pretty aggressive. Oh, Isaac Zakarian wants me to join his gallery as managing director. You're kidding. Did someone die? <laughs> no. 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 I told you she was going to do Everything is fine. Yeah. I we just want to talk to you about our wedding. Yeah. So we're, we're thinking about doing it this summer in Palm Springs. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. to tell you all together. Right. Your so. moms and me, like the three amigos. <laughs> no, we could always use some new stuff, though. Right? What do you mean? It's all the No, no, honey. We're fine. Thanks, honey. Their togetherness just highlights the fact that I'm alone. I mean, Tina has Carrie, and she makes her laugh. She's all jokey. And I have, oh, yeah, that's right. I have no one. I'm going to die alone. Fuck. 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 Okay. Here's the deal. All right. That's Tina, my ex, Carrie, her fiance. Not a fan. Getting married this summer. Okay. Look who it is. Imagine this. Hi. 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 Hello. Do you think that's okay? Bet? Yeah. No, I don't think she's okay. I think she's in love with you. <laughs> no, she is not. Yes, she is. She's sitting with that beautiful woman, and all she can do is look over here and stare at you. I cheated on Tina 17 years ago. And I will regret it for the rest of my life. I went to see a therapist today. But maybe you could come with. Sure. Of course. I'd like for us all to go. You, me, Mom, and Carrie. I would just have to ask Tina. I already it. spoke with them, and they said that they can if you can. We're all here early. <laughs> Beth's going to be here any minute. OK. No, she's going to mm -hmm. behave, right? I promise she's going to be fine. OK? OK. It's going to work, because I already feel sorry for her. Why is that? Because she doesn't have you. She doesn't want me. Marcus, my um, donor, he's sick. He's dying. Oh, no. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Look, she can't donate a kidney. Is that clear? She is our child. Mine and Tina's. We're her parents. I know, but we're here. Oh, you want me to be the bad guy? No. OK, fine. The listen. answer is no. Absolutely not. No. And What's you? your relationship like with your family, Miss Porter? Um, my father died years ago, and um, I haven't seen my mother in 30 years. She barely raised me. I am who I am, despite her, not because of her. But you seem pretty sure about how she felt. Yeah. Isn't she always like that? I mean, at first. What about you? I will always support you. That doesn't mean I'm always going to agree with you, OK? It doesn't make it any less terrifying for me and your mom to watch you do something that might Compromise your health and your well-being. Come on, give us a second chance. I don't know how you ever married her. What? What? Don't talk about her like that. Like what? She's the mother of my daughter. And we have to try to make this work. I behaved so poorly. I, I mean, I just acted so much out of my own fears that I wasn't even able to hear you. I'm so sorry. And we, we love you. You can meet him if you want to. We know how important this is to you. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Marcus is gonna like you. Of course he is. Are you excited to go to prom this weekend? Sort of. I can't believe you're old enough to go to prom. Oh my God, I was just thinking the same thing. I can't wait to see you in that suit. <laughs> Could I speak with one of you for just a minute? I'm really sorry, but I don't, I don't think you're going to be able to meet Marcus today. Do you think you fought hard enough for her back there? What do you mean? Well, usually you win fights like that. You're going to make me feel like shit. I'm way. not trying to make you feel like shit. You just told Jordy that we can get Angie to the prom. I mean, we can't keep that promise. Oh my God, she was so heartbroken. I didn't want to bring her down. <sighs> That's funny, because you have no problem bringing everybody else down. Really? Really? That's what we're going to do now? Because today wasn't oh, enough? Right now. We're going to test it. What? Huh? 
Hi, is Beth home? Hey. Hey. Come on in. This is Tina. I think we should go back. Back to what? To the hospital. To see Marcus. <sighs> really? Yeah. I think I might be able to convince him. I have no doubt. Congratulations on your big win at the museum. Thank you. It's a team effort. Yeah, it's nice being on your team. It's not so nice being pitted against you. I just, I want to know why you can't be happy for me and Carrie. I am happy for you. I just don't buy it. Are you still in love with me? Okay, you can come on back. I should have known Beth Porter's daughter would be persistent. <laughs> well, we taught her well. Something about you and Tina makes me feel some kind of way. She's the mother of my child, and she'll always be in my life. And I think it's more than that. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. All right, answer me this. If Tina was to show up at your doorstep right now... Well, I wouldn't know because I'm here with you. And she says, I'm in love with you, and I want to try again. What do you say? Oh, my God. What would you say? It's a flawed premise. Bet if you are having any doubts about Tina getting married... I am not having any doubts about Tina getting married. Carrie is having cold feet. All I'm saying is, if there was ever a time to win her back, I think it's now or never. It seems like they're doing pretty okay to me. I wanted to talk about us. I mean, the other night you asked me if I was still in love with you. I mean, I tried to put it out of my mind, but it just keeps coming back up. Why did you ask me that question? It was a mistake. And I never should have... No, 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 no. It wasn't a mistake. It wasn't a mistake because... It made me think, I want you to be happy. I want to be happy, too. But then Shane and Alice, they, they asked me what I would do if you showed up on my doorstep and, and said you wanted to try again. But if you did want Club to try Club soda? Again. With lime? She's in love with you. No, what? This is not what I wanted. I think... This is exactly what you wanted. I hope you're fucking happy. I am sorry. with me just answer the question yes that's not how you love someone Carrie was so good for me Can't be with her because I'm in love with you too I've loved you my whole life <laughs> and I've loved you all of mine I just wish that you were fucking better at it ah! speak of the devil She's gonna be pissed. I'm here. It's okay. It's okay. Hi, are you okay? <laughs> Can't believe you didn't bite that girl's head off. Oh, well, we're all gonna die, so it's <laughs> a little bumper, right? So, do you need anything else? I don't. I love you guys. I love you. Mm. Don't cry. It's okay. I know. It's good. I, know. I just, I love you. That's all. Hey. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Hi. Hi. It's nice to see you out in the world. Thank you. Same. What, what season are you on? Oh, we got picked up for season nine. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. The incomparable Bette Porter. What is she doing? 
charity. This next piece is from my private collection by the very first artist I ever started to collect. That's from our house in West Hollywood. It's worth so much more than 500. 10,000. Sold for 10,000 dollars! You said that you would never part with the Kihisma. I thought maybe it was time to let it go. Yeah, but some things are worth keeping. When I see that print, I think of our old house. When I think of us, then it wants someone else to have a piece of us. I can't believe you found your mom. I, just, I have so many questions, like... <laughs> In all honesty, it started with something that you said about a year ago um, when you said, I, I didn't know how to love you. I had this question that kept coming up in my mind, like just echoing over and over again. And it was, who taught me how to love? And I thought of my mom. It was so freeing to know that I was able to forgive her. Today was one of the best days of my life. Me too. I should go. To you, like a punch that knocks the wind out. I think you're changing it right now. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Uh, oh, um, you, did you, did you honey, say you something? Okay? You for, did, did you, you forget, forget something? something? Yeah. Just, ew! Wait, Angelica, please don't. Let her go. Well, are we gonna tell her that it was a mistake? Or, I mean, it feels so real to me. It is real. It's been a long time. I'm different. So beautiful. You are. This. I can't believe it. This is cute. Oh, holding hands. <laughs> is this really happening? It's happening. Uh, are you coming to sit down? Yeah, I am. I just, um, I just really like this one. Coming to sit down? Yeah. I just really like this one. Oh. <laughs> You've lost your earring. Just wondering why she put this back on. <laughs> this is, um, this is when I lost my hair. Yes, this is when you lost your hair. Marcus always put his family first. He talked about his family being his greatest accomplishment. I think he understood what so many of us struggle to, and that is our time here is limited. This is so much better than the first time. I agree. We just wanted you to know we're together, together. Um, it's not a fling. Just don't worry, I have people outside of you two. Okay, okay. That's yes. great to You're hear. You're such a grown up. Okay. Me too. <laughs> he reminds me not to waste another second. Stay. What? Stay with me in LA. Don't go. No, I have to go home to Toronto. You're not the only one no. with a career. I, was, I would I... never, ever, ever ask you to give everything up. Okay. My car's two minutes away. I have to go. You okay? I'm not okay. I um, I just asked her to stay, and and she thought I was asking her to give up her life for me. And and I guess, I guess in a way, I was doing that. We were doing really well, and I just fucked it up. I know you asked her to stay, but maybe I need to go. Yes. yes. I need to go. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so fucking smart. 
What if she says no? She's not gonna say no. I see her car. Where? Right Where? there. Right there. See it? Right there. Tina! Feel the ground beneath you. You know what? what? Maybe you could catch her on foot. You, I've always loved you. I spent the last 25 years of my life building my career, and now I want to spend the rest of my life with you. You are my home. Just give me some good news. Just tell me how long it took for you to feel normal after Tina. Well, you're assuming that I feel normal now. You don't? No. Great. I still miss the kind of love that I had with Tina. made me feel alive. I want to love you better each and every day. I want to love you more deeply each and every day. And I cannot wait another minute to do it. Please, may I come with you? Get in! Just get in! Family.